recent rains have affected our daily living. The way we go to office, how the roads are choked, and lot of there's a lot of disruption in the work. Similarly, in construction and buildings, there's a lot of disruption because of the rains. The water seeps in through the floors, through the walls, and goes into the building, and it really affects the longevity and durability of the building. Treating the surface, wherever there's uh, there's water leakage, the waterproofing has to be done properly. And uh, here, there's at one side. There's some waterproofing happening. We also, at regular intervals, we make sure, make the clients request the clients to keep checking for any leakages or cracks. And then a certain uh, waterproofing has to be done. There are different companies and agents who do it. Uh, here, Mr. Arun is doing uh, waterproofing for uh, for one uh, one of their clients. So I just came. I thought I'll uh, brief you through a basic waterproofing that happens. These are the sealant that they are using for the bond. So Tiki Seal PU25. So PU sealant. While cleaning the surface of the slab, you just have to clean the surface well, and in such a way that it does not, uh, uh, you know, remove the surface that we've already treated. So there is a brush that's available from Rajasthan brush, something like this. So when you just brush it, dust it, it just removes the top. Layer, layer of the dust. dust surface and not the layer that we have already applied. The most important thing is the mother slab. The mother slab is the bare nude slab that is that exists uh, for a building on the top floor. That slab has to be clear and it has to be clear of all the dirt and uh, uh, it has to be clean. So they're cleaning the surface right now. And once that cleaning is done, there will be different stages of uh, waterproofing that is done. Once they apply a, a waterproofing coat, they will paint a surface. And then they'll, in the second stage, they apply a, a sheet, a, a netted sheet that will go on top of it. And then they will paint it with a sealant and a, a waterproofing solution with cement, they will mix it and they apply it. And then the third uh, thing will be a, a complete sealant that we apply. This is the fiber mesh thing that will they'll put it on top of this using this solution. And that will be the second stage. And the third stage will be another layer of waterproofing. So whenever there are cracks like these, what we generally do is make, you know, uh, you know basically make grooves. Cut the grooves and make open, cut open the grooves like this, and then uh, fill up with a sealant like this, and uh, then over on top of that, then do we have a to do a lapum and then regular paint? Once the sealant is put into these grooves, you can just wait for one or two hours, and it will be ready for the lapum and all that coat. So, see these things are very important. These these leakages are going to affect the the you know longevity of the building see the reason why these cracks also come are for various reasons when we do the overall coping on top of the we call this coping so on top of this when we do a coping they usually uh, use two feet two feet tiles that uh, remnant stone pieces that we have that's a general practice we don't want to spend more so these regular two feet tiles that we put but what happens is when you have too many grooves through these grooves, the water goes in and that will go inside. So this is something that a lot of people ignore. So this water goes in and that's how it, all this gets affected. This is going to seep all through and in fact, the entire um, wall right now is filled with uh, water. So in waterproofing, the main important thing in any uh, waterproofing thing is the slope. So you have to make sure that the slope happens. So here they, they've done a small, uh, uh, you know, a groove kind of a thing which runs all the way and wherever the water has to go, the water has to be sloped well. Otherwise, the water will get stagnant somewhere. So they're going to make these grooves. So big grooves, they're going to make like this and fill all these cracks with the sealant. So they're making grooves in this. And while making these grooves, they'll usually put a masking tape on either side so that it doesn't go on to the other side and fill in these grooves. So that's how the sealant happens. Right now, they are mixing the 
సెకండ్ కోట్ ఆఫ్ సీలెంట్ ఆ పద చెప్పండి చెప్పండి So there's a waterproofing paint along with cement that's getting mixed.